Hey guys, the Sega Stoner has requested that I give him a quick tutorial on how to repair an RCA or AV cable. He has a Nintendo 64 and he has managed to rip the head off his AV cable for video. So he's asked if I can show him how to repair it quickly. And I figured it would be easier if I just shot a video and put it up. You guys can all watch it and I don't know. What I'm going to show you is basically a quick and dirty way to do a repair for an RCA cable. Um, not necessarily permanent, although I have repaired some and I mean, it's not like they carry a lot of current, so you're not going to set your house on fire. Worst case scenario is if you do it wrong, you'll get a bad picture or it won't work at all. So what I'm going to use are things that most people have in their house. If you have wire strippers, you could use wire strippers. If you have heat shrink tubing, you could use heat shrink tubing. What I'm actually going to use are scissors and electrical tape because, well, that's what most people will have in their house. Uh, duct tape would probably work as well. Actually, duct tape might work better. Uh, it'd just be a little harder to work with because it's so sticky. But I'm going to destroy a perfectly good RCA cable for this video for him. And I'm going to keep looking down a lot so I can make sure I have it in the, the camera. So cut. Now you have with these, like this is what he's got. In these, you'll have two cables. And really what you need to do is reconnect the two cables without accidentally touching the two of them together. So first thing you're going to do is take and clear away the insulation. You need to cut it, but you don't want to sever all the way through. You just want to sort of nick it. I don't know if you can see there or not, but now nah, you really can't see. Well, hopefully if you do it right, you'll be able to pull them apart. And there you go. Now you can see. Let's see if I can get it off of here. And what you've got is this stranded cable here wrapped around another bit of insulation. And you've basically got two wires. So what we want to do is now strip away the insulation here. And same thing, you're going to be very careful not to cut all the way through, or at least I'm going to try to be careful not to cut all the way through. And I think I might have done it. Hopefully I won't tear the, the wire because the wire, the strands in here are very, very thin and very easy to break. So you have to be very careful when doing this not to do that. All right, I'm about to do something that I'm going to tell you not to do because it'll ruin your teeth, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's easier and I don't want this to be in a terribly long video. And we'll snip the rest of that off there. So now you've got the two separate strands and I like to twist them just so you don't have any stray little hairs poking off to the side. By twisting them like this, you'll bundle them all together, make it easier to work with. Now I'm leaving a lot of extra wire here for the purposes of making it easier to see on the video. And sorry, I've got a window that keeps popping up because my computer wants to restart. I got it cleared off of there. So you end up with that there, the two separate strands. Now I'm going to quickly do the other one, or the other end. Tooth thing again. Don't do this, it's bad for your teeth. Would be easier if I was using wire strippers. So now we've got these stranded ends again. I'm gonna do it the same way we did it before, only I'm gonna twist them together first this time. Okay, now I'm going to cheat, and again, don't use your teeth, but I don't know, my teeth seem to work really well for this. There you go. Wire strippers are best, scissors are better, but trying to keep this video short, I use my teeth, don't do that. Now, you have the two ends that look like this. You have the wires that are stranded and wrap around and then you have the wires that are in the insulation inside. 
And what I like to do first are the insulated wires. And I'm going to take them, twist them together. My big fat fingers, my big fat inarticulate fingers have a hard time with this sometimes. And then I'm just going to take them and kind of wrap them around here to reduce the size. All right, now it is very important here that you don't allow these wires here to touch the wires in the middle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a piece, and of course I just dropped it on the floor, a piece of our electrical tape, like so. And it doesn't take much, because again, this isn't carrying a lot of current, so you don't have to worry about it blasting through here. And you're gonna actually wrap it right around here. So what you're essentially doing here is replacing the insulation on that inside wire. So now it's as if it has never been broken. And I'm doing a really crappy job. But pretend that I put this on here and it's nice and smooth and you can't tell that it's there. Now personally, if I were doing this, I would use heat shrink tubing and you would slide it on there and you'd heat shrink it and then life would be great and you wouldn't be able to tell. But since I wanted to use things that you might have in your house, we decided to go with electrical tape. Now you're going to twist the other two wires together, like so. And kind of wrap those around too. And then, if I can do this without dropping it on the floor again. I'm going to take and cover the entire thing in electrical tape. Now, again, normally I would not have this much bared if I was going to do this. I would have a significantly less amount of tape that I would have to use. So this is going to look absolutely crappy, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of how to do this. And I'm trying to do it quickly. So I apologize that it's going to look awful. When you do your own, you can take more than the seven or eight minutes that I'm going to have here. And do a much better job of it. There you go. There is an absolutely hideous splice job, but you have the essentials. That is how you could do it. Now, like I said, if you had heat shrink tubing, you could put it over the top of the whole thing and it would be nice and smooth and you really wouldn't even be able to tell that you did anything. But if you needed to do a quick and dirty repair on your video game AV cables, you could do it this way. I actually did this with a PlayStation 2 cable uh, on a system for, well, I was actually going to give it to my son. Now I'm going to sell it because he doesn't want it. So there you go. Good as new, or almost good as new, just uglier. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody.